Walking down the aisle is the commander of Junior Command and Staff College in Ginger, Brigadier General Chris Ogwal and his wife Agnes Ogwal. The uniform worn on such a ceremony is outstanding and is called number one ceremonial composed of a Botswana cap, red tunic and a shash, black trouser and a black pair of shoes. With a very, very clean shirt inside the tunic, specifically for functions. He's accompanied by officers of the same rank and they all carry a sword. The swords are very, very important in the match what we call making the arch of the wedding. That function of the arch is very important in the church. That is where the crown of the wedding takes place. And we are always encouraged to watch it keenly. The couple is matched by the army band and among the pallbearers is a senior officer who commands. At the reception, the groom removes the sword from the sheath and puts in a saluting form. That, of course, after saluting the cake and everybody was, was present, and then he holds the hand of the bride. He covers it on the holder of the sword, and they do what we call the first cut of the cake. And then thereafter, everything is done. At the wedding, Reverend Johnson of Gemma Victory Outreach Church asked the married to remain disciplined. A successful wedding requires planning. A military wedding can be challenging considering the military traditions and protocol. The rehearsals have been going on for the last two weeks. All the officers who are marching have rehearsed. The same thing is supposed to be done throughout. Eddie Ulua, UBC News.